Hi guys, is Georgina the cook here? So today we're looking at how to make a cake for eight people. This is one of my favorite recipes. First, you need some eggs. Many people use three eggs, but for this cake, two is fine. Then you need to get some flour. You don't need much. I'm adding about two cups. After the flour. We need to add some sugar. People always say to me, "I can't use sugar; it's so unhealthy." But for this cake, we only use a cup of sugar, not two, as many people do, and it is delicious. Now you need to add some butter into the mix. It's important not to add too much butter; about a cup is fine. Finally, don't leave it in the oven for too long; it needs forty-five minutes. Some people leave it in the oven for over sixty minutes, but that's too long. When it's ready, remember to let it cool before you eat it. Really, Pablo, are you ordering pizza again? What's wrong with pizza? It has bread. I love bread. Bread has fiber. Bread is healthy. Yes, Pablo. But pizza also has a lot of oil, which is fat, and that's not healthy. What are you having, Ray? I'm ordering pasta. Lots of healthy carbohydrates for me. What about you, Marta? Are you ordering fish? No, I rarely eat fish, but I like meat that has very little fat and a lot of protein. So I'm ordering chicken. And you, Jen? I think I want some fries. Fries are potatoes. They are healthy. That's not healthy. Those fries have a lot of oil in them, like that pizza. So, how exactly do we make this, Dad? I have no idea. Grandpa knows, but I can't remember. Oh come on, Jamie! It's so easy. We make this evening meal so often. Okay. How do we prepare the vegetables? You need to slice them with a knife. Then what? Well, you have to mix the chicken and the vegetables together. Then put them in the oven, and that's it. How long for? About sixty minutes, right? No, about a half an hour is fine. Okay, Dad. What do you want to make now? Good question. I know. Let's make a cake. Hmm. I want to make an apple pie. Okay. I don't mind. I like both of them. So after I slice the apples and put them in the pie crust, what do we do? Well, you just need to put a little sugar and cinnamon on the apples before you put the pie in the oven. Like this? Wait. Before you do that, put a little flour around the baking dish so that it doesn't stick. Okay? Right. Got it. And how long do we bake it for? An hour? Exactly. You're getting good at this. Molly, I'm looking at a website with lots of information on vacations. I want to go to Florida this year. It looks like a really interesting place. Oh yes, good idea. I love the idea of going to Florida. When is a good time to go? What about in the winter? Winter is high season in Florida. A lot of people go there because it's warm. Hotels are busy and the rooms are expensive. Restaurants are very busy too. I like it when it's quiet. Some people think it's exciting to be with a lot of people, but I think it's hard work. I agree. Perhaps summer is a good time to visit. In summer, families visit. That's when the schools are closed. The tourist attractions are busy, and it gets very hot in the summer. Okay. 
So when is low season in Florida? There are fewer tourists in the fall, but there's a good reason for that. The weather is sometimes bad, and I want to spend time on the beach on this vacation. In the fall, you sometimes have to stay in the hotel. Maybe spring is a good time. Let me see what the website says. The weather is good in May, and places are quiet. Children are in school, so families don't go, and hotel rooms are cheap. It sounds good. I agree. Let's search for hotels. Yes, it's that time of year again, vacation time. When you ask yourself, "How should I get all my clothes into my suitcase?" Well, you don't need to ask yourself any more, because I have some great ideas for you. The first idea is that you need to think about what you should pack, not what you could pack. What do I mean by this? Well. If you are visiting a hot country, you should pack a T-shirt, shorts, and of course a hat. Why a hat? Well, you should take a hat to make sure you don't get a sunburn on your face. Now, if you are going on vacation in a cold country, you should pack a coat, a scarf, and gloves to stay warm. But you should pack a hat for cold weather too. Why? Because if your head is warm, you could be much more comfortable, even if it is very cold. The main idea is, don't pack any more than you need. Wow, Gabriel! I can't believe we finished this project tomorrow. It's good because we have no social life at the moment. Did you go out last weekend? No, Victoria, I didn't. The last time was about two weeks ago. I went out to eat at that new Thai restaurant downtown. Ah, the restaurant on Bridge Street. Did you like the food? Yes, I did. The food was great, but it was next to this club. The music was very loud. We couldn't talk. Oh, I hate that. And we are all working so hard at the moment. We need to relax. Did you stay late again at the office last night? No, I didn't. But last Wednesday, I stayed here until very late. I was so tired the next morning. When was the last time you went out? Well, I didn't go out last weekend either. But I went to see that new movie, A Brave Life, last week. I think that was the last time. Oh yes. And I went to a concert with some friends about two weeks ago. You went out a lot then. Not really, but when this project is over, we can all go out together to celebrate. John, I had a horrible day at work last week. I decided that it would be a good idea to spend some extra money on pens and paper for the office because we have a big presentation for a client next week. Anyway, my boss called me in for a meeting and said, "Why did you do that? We needed that money for other things." I felt so stupid. Nuria, I was at home last night. And I watched TV to try and relax after a very busy day. I got a text message on my cell phone from my boyfriend. He's on a business trip to Thailand, and he sent me a message. He said, "Sorry, Nuria, but I can't come back for three weeks." Well, I got so upset, so I went out dancing with some friends. Pete, I really didn't know what to do. Julian is a good employee, but he is always late to the office, and not just a little late. On Wednesday, he was late by over an hour. I had to make a decision whether to ask him to change, or just tell him that he didn't have a job.
In the end, we talked and everything was okay, but it wasn't an easy choice to make. Ruby. Rebecca and I were at her apartment just chatting about life and watching TV when she told me that she was going to go on a date with my brother, Irian. I was like, no way, you can't do that. She told me that Irian and she talked for a long time and they have a good relationship. Then we had an argument. She started shouting at me. I couldn't believe it. Oh, no. Miguel, did you see how much this food is going to cost? Maybe we should put some things back. You're right, Karina. It's expensive. But we're going to need all this for dinner with Ben and James tonight. We're having dinner with Matt and Isabel, not Ben and James. They're coming over at 7.30. I'll make us some pasta. Okay. We're trying to save money, and you're right. We spend money all the time. I guess we could sell one of the cars. Then we can save that money for our vacation in Florida next month. Wait a minute. We need the cars. Okay, look, this week I'm going to make salad for lunch. We'll save money by not going out. We don't need a car each, Karina. Let's sell one of them, and we can get a box to save money in and add to it every day. What do you think? Okay, fine. That's a good idea. And we can make gifts for each other for our birthdays next week. Uh, well, the thing is, I really wanted you to buy me a new cell phone. So, what's next, Will? Do you think it's time to move on and start a business? You know, Juan, I'd love to do that. But I really don't like the idea of working in an office. I hate being in one place all day. I would really prefer to work outdoors or something like that. Would you like to work in construction, for example? But not as someone's employee, right? With your experience in this industry, you could manage people yourself. Yeah, maybe something like that. But I also like the idea of what you do. Working from home is great. You're in your own space all the time. It looks good, but it's hard work. I'm not sure I like it, really. I mean, it's very easy to just stop working and watch TV. And before you know it, you lose an hour. You know, I love to work overseas for a year or so, just like you're doing here. Yes, well, I love it, but take my advice, Juan. You can plan to work overseas for a year or so, but then you'll stay in that country for 10 years, just like me. We are thinking of going on vacation somewhere a bit warmer than where we went last year. Not like a desert or anything, obviously. Oh, and we want to be close to some water, too, like a lake. Or river, don't we, Marcos? Exactly. Well, that's no problem at all. What about a waterfall? Victoria Falls in southern Africa is amazing. But it would be better to go between April and June when it's 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. It can be about 40 degrees Celsius there in October. Wow! That's a bit hot for you, isn't it, Marcos? Sure is. Okay, well, what about something a little cooler like Bariloche in Argentina? There's a lot of water there. It's on the shore of a lake. The surrounding area also has green forests, rivers, glaciers, and beautiful mountains to explore. The city gets around 800,000 visitors a year. 
The city is about 770 meters high, and the mountains reach to over 3,500 meters. They look amazing. Marcos doesn't like mountains, do you, Marcos? We went to see a volcano a few years ago in Hawaii, Mauna Kea, which is over 4,000 meters. No, I didn't like the volcano. I don't like danger. I like more relaxing vacations. I see. Well, what about the Everglades in Florida? There are rivers and lakes, and a lot of animals and plants to see. There are no volcanoes or mountains, and it's about 25 degrees Celsius in the dry season. You can hike and go camping. It's a very beautiful area. Well, that sounds great, doesn't it, Marcos? It certainly does. So, where are we going to go this year, guys? I think that Mount Everest looks awesome. It's so big. But I think it's going to be quite difficult to organize the trip there. What about you, Nora? You're right, Zoe. To be honest, I prefer the idea of the Great Barrier Reef. We all love diving. Sarah, do you remember when we went diving in Greece a few years ago after Josie's wedding? Yeah, Nora. That was amazing. But what about the harbor of Rio de Janeiro? You can go diving there, too. And the city's really beautiful. I'm more interested in going somewhere more out of town, like Patagonia. So beautiful. Look, I know Rio is popular, but there are so many tourists. What, like us, you mean? <laughs> Come on, Zoe. Don't be boring. Rio is a party city, and it has lots of art galleries to explore. I don't want to look at ugly modern art all week. I have an idea. Let's go see the Aurora Borealis in Norway. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? And we've never been to Northern Europe. And it's very different from last year when we went to Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe. Okay, Sarah, let's do it. Great idea! A lot of people want to do better at work. Our professional development course can help you. We show you how you can manage your time. We also show you how to speak to people in an interview and lots of other useful things. It's a very interesting course and you learn a lot. It starts on April 10th. We do the course at our office in the downtown area. You need to be there before 9 a.m. each day. That's when we start work. We work all morning, break for lunch, and then work again in the afternoon. We finish at 6 p.m. It's a three day course, so it finishes on April 13th. So, Does anyone have any questions for now? Hi, Emma. How was your weekend? Oh, hi, Mateo. I had a good weekend, thanks. I went out to eat on Saturday. It was my sister's birthday, so my family and I went to a new restaurant downtown after work. What restaurant did you go to? It was the new Italian restaurant near the train station. We weren't sure exactly where it was, so we got a taxi. The driver knew where it was. And what was the restaurant like? It's a nice place, but they made a mistake with our reservation. I reserved a table for six people at seven o'clock under my name. They thought I wanted a table at eight o'clock, but it wasn't a problem. 
They found a table for us. Do you like Italian food? Yes, I do. I know some people find it boring, but I don't. I don't like unusual food. With Italian food, I know what all the dishes are, and the food at this place was really good. Very tasty. What did you have? I had pasta with tomato sauce. My sister had pizza with spicy peppers, too hot for me. And the others all had dessert. But I don't really like sweet things, and it's unhealthy. I like to eat things that are good for me. What did you do after the restaurant? We went home. We finished eating at about ten o'clock. We had to wait half an hour for a taxi, and then it took us half an hour to get home. I was tired by that time. How was your weekend? Hi, Pedro. Are you free later? Hi, Carla. Yes, I have a lot of work to do now, but I'm free this afternoon. What are your plans? I'm going to meet some friends at the movie theater. There's a new movie we want to see. Do you want to come? It's at three o'clock. That sounds great. See you later. Tim, are you going out? Yes, I'm going to go to the gym. Don't forget to wear a coat. It's windy and not very warm outside. Okay. Do I need my umbrella? I don't think so. It's dry, but you need a scarf and gloves. Okay, thanks. Excuse me, is this platform three? I'm looking for the train to Pittsburgh. Yes, this is platform three, but you need platform two for the train to Pittsburgh. And you need to hurry. You only have five minutes to catch it. Oh dear, I don't have a ticket. Can I get one on the train? I'm sorry, but no, you can't. You need to go to the ticket office on platform one. Platform one. Okay. Thanks for your help. I'd like to buy this hat, but I can't see a price on it. How much is it? That hat is usually thirty dollars, but we have a special offer this week. All the hats are ten dollars off. So that makes it twenty dollars. Okay, where do I pay? Over there, at the end of the store. Thanks. Elena, do you play any sports? I'm going to start having tennis lessons on the weekend. Do you want to come? That sounds like a good idea, Lily, but I can't. I have a lot of work to do at school, and I don't have much time for sports. I stopped playing basketball because I didn't have time. The only time I have is Friday evening, and I play volleyball then. Okay, no problem.